वेलकम टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ पी एल हंड्रेड प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम क्वेश्चन इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर टू लर्न फ्रॉम ट्रस्टेड एंड सर्टिफाइड पर्सन रैर दैन अनसर्टिफाइड और अनट्रस्टेड सोर्स बिकॉज लर्निंग फ्रॉम अनसर्टिफाइड पर्सन विल पुट यूर रिस्क ऑफ पैसिंग दिस एग्जाम और राइट दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू ट्रू एंड फॉल्स लेट्स लुक एट स्टेटमेंट वन दैट इज फॉर फेडरेटेड एप्लीकेशन ओपन आई डी एंड सेमिल the application should support the sas model it's one of the prerequisites for federated application hence will mark this as yes we'll see this in the official documentation in a moment let's look at option or statement 2 that is microsoft 365 and dynamics 365 sales can be in different tenant for SSO activity well looks good because in multi tenant application your application can be used by other companies when they subscribe or purchase the application will mark this as true again let's look at statement 3 that is for SSO to work with microsoft 365 and dynamics 365 the product should be downloaded from marketplace there is no relation between sso and downloading a product hence this option is incorrect and if you look at the official documentation that is there is a prerequisite for federated application the application must support the sas model we got our answers and we'll log this all right we got another question related to true and false let's look at statement 1 in a power bi report you can only display data from a single source only display data from single source seems to be suspicious because it looks false you can display data from multiple sources not just limited to single source just think in terms of practical usage if you can only display data related from a single source then probably no one will use power bi report instead they will use some other service hence this statement seems to be false let's look at the second statement aggregate of data can be displayed in a power bi report we know that power bi report provides significant advantage for query performance over data by boosting query speeds by caching data at the aggregated level this seems to be true we'll mark this as yes and we'll log this as the correct answer for this all right we got match the statements let's look at statement 1 that is dashboard which has report tile if you followed my previous videos then I have mentioned that whenever you see keyword such as tile then pin should strike in your mind hence we'll move pin here let's look at statement 2 that is make sure that team members can see the dashboard just like in social media if you share a post with your friends then your post is visible to all your friends as well right same concept can be applied here as well in order to ensure that your team can see the dashboard you must share it hence we'll move share here Let's look at the last statement dashboard which can display data from MS Excel. If you want to display data from MS Excel then you need to fetch the data right which is nothing but get data. Hence we'll move this here and we'll log this as the correct answer for this. All right another question related to match the statement let's look at statement 1 that is dashboard creation dashboard can be created only using power service. Hence we'll move this here. Let's look at statement 2 that is report creation reports can be created by both power bi desktop as well as service hence we'll move this option here let's look at the last statement that is calculated column to create calculated columns you need power bi desktop as power bi service can't achieve this hence we'll move this here from exam standpoint you need to remember this high level diagram because it might come in handy to remember things easily If you can do the hands on then it would be much commendable because in that way you will be able to answer this type of question easily instead of memorizing we'll lock this as the correct answer for this okay as per this question we need to share and view power bi report let's look at the first statement that is option e by using filters filters has nothing to do with sharing reports with user whether you apply a filter or not it will not impact anything related to sharing of reports hence this seems to be incorrect choice let's look at statement b that is by pinning the report to the dashboard by pinning we can make a report viewable because users can interact with them right there on the dashboard think just like pinning a comment on social media like youtube or instagram we can make a comment stand out from the rest and increase its visibility we'll keep this option aside because we need to correct answer let's look at option c that is by activating social media buttons there are no social media buttons to activate to be enabled in power bi report hence this seems to be incorrect choice let's still look at the last statement by sharing the dashboard just like social media by sharing a report the people you share can view it hence this seems to be another 
valid answer seems like we got our two answers and if you look at the official documentation that is when you share a report or dashboard people you share it can view it we got our answers and we'll log this if you like the way i explain please hit a thumbs up button because a lot of hard work goes in behind the scenes while making these videos all right we have a scenario in this question that is when an admin try to update the canvas app the app crashes or it is facing the usability issue and you got to fix it let's look at option a that is delete the canvas app deleting the canvas app will not solve the issue because even if canvas app wasn't responding at least there was something right there is a saying something is better than nothing we'll look this in a while in the official documentation why is it so for the time being it's incorrect we'll mark this as wrong let's look at option b that is upgrade license designation as premium Upgrading license designation to premium can help when using HTTP connector in a flow connected to an app which isn't recognized by the app's license designation. This will not help you to fix the issue faced by the scenario as per the question because it's related to updating. Hence, we'll mark this as wrong. Let's look at statement C that is restore a canvas app to a previous version. If you're having multiple versions of the app, then you have the option to restore to previous version. Think like if you updated a software in Windows, then if it has usability issues, then you can restore it to the previous state like creating a restore point in Windows. This can be the potential answer. We'll keep this option aside. Let's look at option D that is export and import canvas app packages. Export and import canvas app package is used when you want to switch from one environment to other. As per the question, there is no mention of change of environment. Probably you got to fix the canvas app in the same environment. Therefore, it seems to be incorrect. We'll mark this as wrong. If we look at the official documentation in this diagram or screenshot it's absolutely clear that if you have multiple versions of the app then you have the option to restore the previous versions if you're having usability issues just like this we'll mark c as the correct answer for this all right we got another major statements let's look at statement one that is explore your data in your own words using natural language whenever you see keywords like natural language then q and a should strike in your mind hence we'll move q and a here let's look at statement two that is explore power bi reports on phones this should be easy since keyword phones is mentioned in the statement therefore mobile apps is the answer we'll move this here let's look at the last statement that is create apps for dashboard forms views charts and business processes from common data service whenever you see business process just like this as a keyword then the solution should be model driven apps hence we'll move this here and if you look at the official documentation uh, that is natural language, it's used for Q&A feature in Power BI lets you explore your data in your own words. We got our answers and in another official documentation, whenever you see dashboard forms, views, charts and especially business process and it is related to common data service, then model driven apps should be the correct answer. We'll log this as the correct answers for this. All right, we got brainstorming as the statements again. Let's look at statement one that is publish articles, forums and blogs. Just relate this statement with blogging site if you want to answer this type of question and you will get your answer obviously. We write blogs for community, which in turn can benefit the community. Sometimes we interact with blogs by commenting and providing ratings as well, right? Hence community portal looks good. We'll move this here. Let's look at statement two, that is onboard resellers, distributors, suppliers to have real time access to every stage of shared activities. Just remember whenever we onboard anyone, it's for partners. The keywords like this resellers, distributors, and suppliers are all related to partners. Hence, partner portal should be the correct fit. We'll move this here. Let's look at the last statement. Enables customer to access self-service knowledge, support resources, view the progress of their cases, and provide feedback. If you read statement three carefully, the answer lies in the question itself. The keywords like enable customers and self-service is related to customer service portal. Hence, we'll move this here. And from the exam standpoint, you got to 
remember which portal does what in the interest of time we'll log this as the correct answer for this all right this question is related to canvas apps just like social media whenever you create a post or share a post there are options whether you want to make the post as public or make the post visible only to some group of people or even tag some friends right etc similarly in canvas app you can share the app then you can specify which users can do what hints will reject option b c and d straight away and before locking if you look at the official documentation after you build canvas app that addresses the business need specify which users right this was the keyword in your organization can run the app and who can modify or even reshare it we got our answers and we'll log this okay this question is related to power virtual agents and we need to call an action with the existing topic let's look at statement a that is speech translation speech translation is used for translating audio as per the question there is no mention of audio perhaps chatbot might be using text for communication hence this option seems incorrect we'll reject this let's look at option b that is microsoft power bi power bi we know is used for data visualization as per the question there is no need for visualizing the data hence this seems to be again incorrect choice let's look at statement c that is text recognition text recognition extract words from documents and images which can also be used with power automate looks partially good because if you read the keyword marked by me it's asking about technology and not pre-built AI model. Let's look at option D still. If we can get better answer than this, we'll keep this for the timing. Option D is Power Automate. Power Automate looks better fit than option C because you need to call an action which can be indeed automated by using Power Automate flows. There is a need for automation. Power Automate looks perfect fit for this answer. Hence, we'll reject option C because option D is better than option C. And if you look at the official documentation, under Power Virtual Agents, you can enable your bot to perform an action by calling a Microsoft Power Automate flow, which can help you automate activities. We got our answer. We'll log this. And please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and select all notification because I regularly upload videos related to high paying ID certification, which will boost your IT career. If you need more parts related to PL900, please do leave a comment below.